Now, last week... <laughs> last week we showed you the version of Monopoly here, uh, based in entirely on Frankston. It was very humorous. We all laughed and we hope some of you did. Deb from Victoria has written in, could you please let me know if the Monopoly game Frankston version was correct? If so, where would I be able to purchase it? <laughs> <laughs> now, Deb, you imbecile. <laughs> <laughs> we made it up, though, but... Um, of course, if someone does produce it, you'll be able to steal it from your nearest <laughs> cash <cashier. laughs> <laughs> No, we made it up, and we love Frankston, don't we? Yeah, we, we do. do. Yeah. No one... None of us are going to go there, but... <laughs> Uh, now, speaking of Frankston, and all things called... Dave Nelson loves that part of the world, this is Frankston, and says, its nightlife is comparable to the great cities of Europe. Can you believe this? And Dave is obviously on some analgesics. He says it's... he likens it to Stockholm. <laughs> Fair dinkum. Have a look at this. This is Stockholm. Yep, this is nightlife in Stockholm. These were just taking random shots of a Stockholm nightclub. Yep, and this is Frankston. Mr. Wonderful just... Uh... Mr. Wonderful had just given that bloke a black eye about three minutes earlier. <laughs> now, time to visit another posh part of this great country, thanks to Nick from Q. Hello, Sam. It's me. Thought you might find this amusing. On a recent trip down to the country, I nearly ran off the road when I read this and thought it may be of interest if you have nothing to do on Anzac Day. Speed dating at Maui. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, speed dating at Maui. I think uh, the girls sit outside the shopping mall and the guys drive past and go, want a route? <laughs> <laughs> It's another place we're not allowed to go to. Uh, just cross the joint. We'll be able to be rele relegated to our actually own suburb we'll shortly. Stay here, I reckon. Now, Brian sent this in, this next piece of video. Is, Dear Sam, they say you do stupid things after a few drinks. Oh. This is how my stupid mate chose to entertain us at my grand final party in 2006. I mean, the man is an idiot because we haven't got there yet. I no. think he presume, <laughs> presume he means last year. Look how good he thinks he is before he makes a total wanker of himself. Now, Gary, That's last it. week... No, it's not it, Gary. Oh, no. The best <laughs> is yet to come, my friend. Last week, we found that you'd had a railway station named after you. Oh, uh, yes, that was... Le uh, Gary Lyon. Very we had stuff, to put the moustache on, yeah. and didn't we? <laughs> Love oh, that. Wasn't that champagne? Funny, funny, funny. <laughs> I was strolling along. This is a bloke writes in. Who was it? Can't see where he is. I was strolling along the world-renowned Champs-Élysées in Paris last Christmas and found this book in a large bookshop. After translating the blurb on the back, I gathered that this was about the biography of a man on the cover who is a famous soccer player. Apparently, in his later years, he became a homosexual and found much trouble... <laughs> oh, no. ..and found much trouble coming out to his family and friends. The man looks a lot like someone sitting on your panel. Oh! <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> well, how are you like that, Jim? Now, maybe that's funny, dude. We did. Yeah, we that did. It's not funny. Oh, that's we get Johnny well, Thwaites that... up, and you're, we're going to oh, get John. We're going to get John Thwaites in here. Get him in. Got the sexuality right. <laughs> oh. Got the what? what nothing. Well? Nothing. Else. You're going well. Now, anyhow, we did a bit of research on him. It turns out that this man is actually a renowned singer in France. <laughs> uh, and this is him here. Au point où j'en suis, je ne suis plus. That's him singing. Right, huh? That's good. It was fun. First time. <laughs> we reckon that's yeah. real funny. Well, yeah, two, of your, two of your funniest in two weeks, really. Right? No. Yeah. That, that was still Gary. John's enormous. No, that was funny. That was favorite. funny. That was very funny uh, indeed. Now, if you want to write into Sam's mailbag, if you've got something equally humorous, here's how you do it. 
<laughs> PO Box 800 Richmond Victoria 3121 or sams.mailbag at 9.com.au You've got a we... line in the aisles that one Jim Oh shut up <laughs> We are going to a break on the seen. other side of it we are going to Sam's street talk and this yeah. is a fantastic addition So stay with us on the footy <laughs> <laughs>